Late breaking tonight, a deadly shooting at a Super Bowl party. Good evening, I'm Jim Payne. I'm Martha Sigalski. Right now, the search is on for three men who fled that Super Bowl gathering in Seminole County. West 2's Talitha Vickers is live at the scene in Longwood with the late breaking details. Talitha. And Martha, that search continues. Investigators have sh had shut down this entire area, utilizing canines, a chopper, and even a ground search, all in an effort to find three suspects who shot Donnie Shepard inside the apartment right here behind me and made off on foot. Four peers. As night falls, St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office detectives receive word that one of the suspects involved in the Longwood shooting may be en route to Fort Pierce. Detectives spread out looking for the burgundy vehicle that was seen leaving the area when the shooting took place. They search for it but come up empty. The following day, we have uh, we still have information about two murder suspects that are coming down or here from Longwood, Florida, I believe. Yes. Um, John Horowitz knows more information on it. I guess the FDLE is on their way down here with the tracking system, so we'll be called out to give them a hand in maybe an hour, maybe three hours. Yeah. But they're two homicide suspects. We have uh, flyers going around in vehicle description. So on your guys' travel, if you happen to see that, obviously. Call other units to come there, follow them a distance so we can stack the odds in our favor. And, uh, I don't know any details of the homicide, but it's supposed to be single zero with a handgun. With a handgun, yes. All right, uh, like I said, yesterday's stats were outstanding. I think it was a total of 34 uh, bodies arrest, 32 for warrants arrest, two PC arrests, so that was great. I think, Jimmy, what, we have 19 or 20 left today? Yeah, we have, uh, I think, 21 actually that are still in our That's not bad at all, you know what I mean, yeah. guys? It's going to be slim pickings now. Um, also, have you seen any traffic on the streets and stuff like that? And you see any criminal activity, identify it, jump out with it, step out with it. You never know if somebody has warrants or, uh, you know, cocaine's out there. So let's see what we can do. Um, any questions, concerns? Nope. All right. Let's go 10 -8. Detectives continue their warrant sweep. 10 -15. Picking up the remaining people with warrants. Hey, come here. Come here. Yep. Hello, officer. You guys go somewhere else because have been dead for the past couple of days. I'm getting yeah. bored out here, man. Just as it seems like the streets are quieting down, detectives receive word that a burgundy vehicle matching the description of the shooters may have been spotted in front of a mobile home west of Fort Pierce. The fourth one in, is that right? Cars right outside. The surveillance team confirms that it's the suspect's vehicle. The two suspects shot him in the shot him, killed him, fled. Sheriff Mascara is concerned for the safety of the neighboring residents. It is believed that the suspect may be armed. Two guys, they're both in that car. And they shot the victim. So you just want to set up on it, set up on it, and get the team moving? We're set up on it right now. We got eyes, so they're not going to move. Disregard the element of surprise, and since we're going to be there evacuating people, they're going to know two minutes after we're there. So we need to make sure that we contain that trailer, get some shields on it, and just wait. Call them out if necessary, but it's going to be really slow when we go in. What's the window that uh, you want to wait? We're ready to go now. And wait till noon, see if they come out, and if not, bring in the SWAT team. It's going to take an hour to get the team activated anyway. So we can sit on them, see what happens. That puts us close to noon anyway. We got to stand out. We stand up. If they come out, we'll take them. If, if we got to, then, we, then around noon time, we'll go. The task force heads to the neighborhood where the vehicle was located. Sam. Oh, we want to get them away from the house and get them away from trailers that they can go into. Our, our SWAT team just drove by. It looks like they're going to either make contact or entry at the uh, residence that the two uh, suspected homicide suspects are hiding in. 1246 to 410. 410, good. Just watch the back of the residence. SWAT's got the perimeter set up. All the units. We got it. I got the visual. Move towards the location and evacuate the at residence to the north and the south. Detectives start to close in. Detectives notice a female exit. 
they're holding it right now. She lives in the trailer to the north. Moments later, a man fitting the description of the suspect exits the home. It's the shooting suspect. Salem County Sheriff's Office finest. A SWAT team made entry into uh, this uh, mobile home, which was uh, identified as a place where a murder suspect from Longwood, Florida, uh, was holed up in. And uh, working with FDLE, we established uh, the probable cause that he was in there, and our uh, SWAT team surrounded the house. And uh, during the time that they were surrounding the house, the suspect walked out. So it all worked out great. I don't, I don't have anything. The female has in her possession a large amount of marijuana packaged for distribution. She is charged and taken to the sheriff's office. In the end, detectives locate and arrest one of the Longwood shooting suspects. He is held pending extradition. One of the female acquaintances of the suspect faces drug charges. All good days work, man. Awesome. Chief, you buying the team lunch? These are big eaters. Absolutely. Okay.